Hey, this is Pastor Mike. Thanks for joining me on Perk Stream for March 2nd, 2023. Let's not be clueless. Hey, thanks for joining me today on Perk Stream. Thanks for uh, spending a few minutes together. Did you enjoy your Fast Knocks last week? Um, now that those are all gone, we can now really start the season of Lent, right? And maybe you're saying, what is Lent? And, well, Lent is that time period where many Christians around the world enter into the sufferings of Christ and remember them as, and how they pave the way to Easter Sunday and the grand celebration of Jesus's resurrection. Now, we don't typically celebrate Lent because it's really not part of our pattern. We don't, we don't think about it. But over the next few weeks, I do want us to think about the things that Jesus did that sometimes, um, well, we just miss that it was Jesus at work. See, I don't think we're that different from our Jewish counterparts of the first century. Sometimes God's at work and, and we totally miss it. And Michael Card, a, a singer, songwriter, and author, kind of weaves that theme into one of his devotional books where he notes that here Jesus came into Jerusalem on a donkey and people were thinking king and he was thinking sacrifice. The temple leaders were thinking troublemaker and he was thinking lamb of God. And so Jesus had expectations that he was not meeting in the people and the priests, and he had his own work to do. And the, the, the disconnect between what the people were looking for and what he had to give caused him to cry. He's weeping. And Luke says that he was full on bawling. And he said these words as he rode through the gates of Jerusalem. He said, if you, even you, had only known this day, what would bring you peace? But now it is hidden from your eyes. Oh, I'm thinking about that because the people were clueless and Jesus knew the people were clueless to what he had to offer them. No, he wasn't going to change their circumstances. No, he wasn't going to make a new order. What he was going to do was he was going to help them be changed from the inside out and let them know a peace that they had never known, quench thirsts that they had not even recognized in themselves. They were clueless to their own situation and Jesus was going to change all of it. Well, today we share hopes, fears, and anxieties with people just like the people then. And sometimes we wish that God would ride in on some sort of animal and save the day. But we're all generally looking for a change in our outward circumstances, aren't we? Or we're looking for a change in relationships. We're, we're looking for change. And Jesus is saying, I do want to bring change. I want to bring change to your inside. I want your inner being to be satisfied with my living water. I want your inside to be satisfied with the bread that I will give you that will bring you peace and bring you satisfaction. I want you to be satisfied with me. Don't close your eyes to me, Jesus says. And so our first steps in Lent this year is simply to be aware that Jesus is passing by and he wants to give us peace. And are we ready to engage with him in the peace that he wants to give? So as we walk through Lent, let's ask the Lord to open our eyes to where he's moving and working. Maybe not changing circumstances, but maybe he's affecting them. Maybe not changing relationships, but certainly at work there. Ultimately, though, he's at work in our hearts filling us with his peace, filling us with his perspective so that we can see life anew the way he wants us to. Maybe you were expecting something different. Maybe you wanted something very different from the Lord, and that's how you prayed, and that's not how God answered. And it's not that God said, was saying no or pushed you off, but maybe he has something else he wants to give you. And do we have the courage to pray this prayer? Lord, give me what I need. Give me what is best for me. I'm not saying it's an easy prayer. It's easy for me to say it, but it's not always easy for us to think in those terms. Let's not be clueless today. Let's not be clueless to that, that the Lord has the best in mind for us and wants to give us his best so that we might be healed and restored. So ask the Lord to give you eyes to see 
And the ability to receive the gift of peace he has to give us as the Prince of Peace. God bless you. Thanks for spending time today. We'll see you later.